Hi everyone, in today's video I would like to show you how you can import contacts in ClickFunnels 2.0. As you may know, ClickFunnels 2.0 has a built-in autoresponder, which means you can use this platform for email marketing. And if, for example, before you were using a different autoresponder, like in my case I was using ActiveCampaign, now you may want to import your contacts to ClickFunnels 2.0. How do you do it? I will show you in this video and also will show you how to solve a few hiccups that may occur on the way. All right, the first thing that you need to do is to export the contacts from your current autoresponder in the form of a CSV file. I have already prepared a small file like this. As you can see, it only has a few contacts, so it doesn't take a lot of time to import them in ClickFunnels 2.0. When you want to start an import, you should go to the contacts, then either all contacts, there they also have the CSV import button, or contact imports like we have here. Then click CSV import. When you try just to upload the CSV file that you got from your current autoresponder, let's click upload, and then try to upload the file that I got from ActiveCampaign, you may see that the import has failed. I have seven failed contacts here. And that's all because the file that I got from ActiveCampaign is not formatted the right way, the way that ClickFunnels 2.0 expects it to be formatted. That's why I recommend you to go back, then click CSV import, and first of all, download the example of the CSV file that ClickFunnels will process. I already have it on my computer. And what you need to do is to adjust the export file that you got from your autoresponder. We need to delete the columns that ClickFunnels template file doesn't have, for example, the ID column, and also name the columns the way that the template of ClickFunnels 2.0 has them named. For example, here, once again, I will need to delete the ID column, the list name column, then we have email address. In ClickFunnels template file, it's called email address, and in Active Campaign export file, it's called email, so I will need to rename this column. Then I have first and last name columns. In ClickFunnels 2.0, it's the same, just written differently. You see that this file has the capital N, then we have phone number and so on. If you have the columns and the data like time zone, Facebook, Twitter URL, Instagram and so on, you can keep those columns. I will delete them because I don't have them. And the good news is that you can also add the columns that you need or that you had in your export and want them to be imported in ClickFunnels 2.0. For example, here I have a column text and I want ClickFunnels 2.0 to also import the tags of the contact. And that's why I will keep this column in this export file. So I will quickly do it and then we will continue with the video. So now you can see the template provided by ClickFunnels 2.0 on top and at the bottom you see my export file that I adjusted. So I kept the column's email address, first name, last name, same columns here, then the phone number, I don't have time zone, and the one column that I wanted to keep as mentioned is the text column and the rest I just deleted. Now we can try to export this file once again. In ClickFunnels 2.0 click upload file, choose the file, click continue. Here you will need to map the columns from our CSV file to the contact field that's provided in ClickFunnels. And click continue. Confirm this checkbox and also choose if you want the existing contacts to be overwritten and then click Perform Import Action. And this time we have a successful import and have seven contacts that I have in the table imported to ClickFunnels 2.0. And before I show you how to segment the contacts that you imported to ClickFunnels 2.0, if you don't have any text assigned to those contacts, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. Also, if you don't have a ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, use the link in the description of this video to start a free trial and get our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. And if you already have a ClickFunnels 2.0 account, check out the description of the video to learn how you can save on your subscription and get awesome bonuses. All right, now back to the topic at hand. To see the contacts that we have just imported, you should go to All Contacts. As you can see, importing contacts in ClickFunnels 2.0 is quite easy, as long as you follow the formatting of the table of the CSV file that ClickFunnels 2.0 requires, 
and now you know how to make sure that you are doing it. You also know how to add the columns or if you can add the columns that ClickFunnels template file doesn't have. And you see proof here that the text column that we had in our export file is also added to the contacts. This contact has the text that it already had in the previous autoresponder. When I looked into the importing of the contacts first, I was slightly confused. What do I do with multiple lists that I have in my current autoresponder? Because ClickFunnels 2.0 does not have lists. And I also didn't realize that I would be able to import the text because ClickFunnels template didn't have the text column. And the last thing that I want to mention if, unlike me, you don't have tags assigned to your contacts in your current autoresponder, you can either do it before you import the contacts in ClickFunnels 2.0, so you can then to segment the contacts that you have here, or ClickFunnels 2.0 also assigns a specific tag when you are importing contacts. For example, these four tags were already assigned to the contact before by me, but this last one import and then the date and time was assigned by ClickFunnels 2.0. So even if your contacts don't have tags right now, when you import them in ClickFunnels 2.0, you will have this tag assigned with the date and the time. And it may also help you with segmenting your contacts and managing them in ClickFunnels 2.0.